Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visual Studio. And today I'm gonna to share with you how to create that RGB LED text effect in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page. And the first thing we're gonna do is bring in a new Fusion composition in our timeline. And then we're gonna move over to Fusion. Once in Fusion, we're gonna bring a first background, link the output of that background to the media out and bring the alpha channel down to zero. Then I'm gonna bring a second background and link the output of that background to the first one to bring it in our composition. And we're gonna go to the background and switch from solid color to gradient. Here I'm gonna select two colors from my gradient. In my case, I'm gonna go with red and purple. And then we're gonna take a text and link the output to the background. Then we're gonna write whatever we want. In my case, I'm gonna write Da Vinci and I'm gonna switch the font to Montserrat, increase the size. Then I'm gonna go over to shading. I'm gonna switch to outline. And here I'm gonna put the outline thickness at 0 0.04. Then I'm gonna copy my text and I'm gonna paste an instance and I'm gonna link the output of that instance to the merge too, which is basically gonna create the core of our glow. To do that, I'm gonna go to the instance, go to shading, I'm gonna de-instance the thickness by right-clicking on it and then going to the instance and I'm gonna switch that to 0 0.01. Now we've prepared our text, we're gonna create the color animation. To do that, I'm gonna select my merge, hit shift space on the keyboard and search for a color corrector and bring that in. I'm gonna go to frame zero, drop a keyframe on the U at zero and then I'm gonna go to frame 60 and bring the U down to minus one. Having a keyframe on the U is what's gonna allow us to change the color continuously. Right now we have the animation. Let's loop it by going to the spline editor, then select the color corrector, zoom to fit. We're gonna select all two points. And then here we're gonna select set loop. And now we have that color change looped during the entire duration of our composition. Then I'm simply gonna add some glow. So I'm gonna select my color corrector. It's just based on the keyboard. We're gonna search for the glow node and bring it in. Then we're gonna hit shift space again and we're gonna search for the soft glow and bring that in. For the soft glow, we're gonna adjust the blend at 0 0.2. And then we're gonna bring one last one by making some space here. Hit shift space on our keyboard and bring a second soft glow. And this time we're gonna increase the glow size to 500. This is gonna act as an ambient light background. Then here I'm gonna bring a solid background and we're gonna unlink the output from the soft glow to the media out. And instead, we're gonna link that to the background that we just bring in the working area. And then we're gonna link the output of that to the media out. Then here, I'm gonna go to that background three and I'm gonna switch the color from black to more of a gray. So we're gonna reduce it like that, just so we can see a bit more the light that we created and that it's not fully absorbed by a black background. And that's pretty much it, we've created our RGB light text. Now, if you wanted to make some adjustment to the gradient, you can always do that by going back to the gradient. Right now we have the color changing gradually. So here we have some cyan and some green, but if you want to have those color basically switching directly, the full text being cyan and then green and so on, you can basically put the point more apart. So the more distance you're gonna have in between the point, the more gradual the shift of color gonna be. So you're gonna have the color appearing one at a time. So for example, here first red, then orange purple. Basically, you will not have two color at once. But if you bring those points closer, you're gonna have the two colors popping up. Like that, for example, you're gonna have the two colors appearing and then basically it's just gonna feel like they are passing by, if that makes any sense. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.